Check one, two. What is up? So, Jonke here. I want to talk to you about this new video from the Dance Floor Game Accelerator program. It's going to tell you why most guys don't get laid very much, okay? And uh, it's not like about techniques really it's more about the entire mindset and how this how culture has brainwashed us into believing that you know you're gonna be that good guy or you know that goes really really deep and i think most guys especially politically politically correct people they just don't want to see you know they can't see that this is just one out of many videos in the program so uh so yeah uh let's crack into it right now Okay guys, okay guys, real talk here, real talk here, okay? You want the right mindset to get laid, don't you, okay? Now, the reason why most average guys don't get laid is because of that. It's pretty simple, but all of society does it, okay? Now the 80-20 rule, okay, says that the Pareto principle says that 80% of the results come from 20% of the causes, now, would that be accurate to say that 80% of women get fucked by 20% of the men? Or even worse, 90% of the women get fucked by 10% of the men, right? That wouldn't be inaccurate, in my opinion. So what happens with the other 90% of guys that are not getting laid? Here's what they do. They shame the douchebags and they shame the sluts, okay? They shame the douchebags and the sluts because they're getting laid and they're not. Now, if you picked up that program, maybe you were already shaming those douchebags and sluts for getting laid a lot. Now you've just kept that into your soul. You have this sort of resentment about douchebags and sluts that are getting laid and you keep pointing the finger at them. And guess what? If you keep pointing the finger at them, you will never become that successful with women because you're, you're judging other people that are having sex. With that type of game where you escalate really fast, okay, you're physical very fast, there's no way you're gonna get good at it if you have this limiting belief. That sex is bad, that girls don't wanna have sex, that being a douchebag is bad, whatever shit that is. Okay, eventually, you're gonna start escalating, escalating on a girl, start kissing her, and when is gonna be the time to bounce her because she's so down, you're gonna have resistance. Because you're gonna be like, oh my God, the bathroom is dirty, I can't do it in the bathroom. It's only douchebags do that, only freaking players do that. I'm a gentleman. Well, you wanna fuck that. Because if you have those beliefs, you're not gonna get the crazy results that you see in my montages in the camera, okay? You wanna eradicate all that, okay? You wanna accept all practices, okay? Whatever the girl does, whatever crazy fantasies she has, whatever fantasies you have, accept them. You wanna be open to experience, the more you're open to it, okay? The, the more you allow yourself to be, okay? You tell yourself, everything is possible, I can do it too, whatever another player can do, I can do, whatever Nameless does, I can do, whatever John does, I can do. Okay, I have a friend of mine, a childhood friend of mine that basically the skinniest guy ever. And everyone who's buff and in shape, he calls them a douchebag. I'm not like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but you know, I take care of my body. I go to the gym. I make sure I look at least decent. And um, I look at him and I know by a fact that this guy's never ever gonna be uh, muscular. He's never gonna look fit and athletic in his entire life. Because he's shaming all the guys that look athletic and fit as being douchebags. So he's never gonna become it. Now, do you want that to be you? Okay. So it's like the people that, so you know the, girl, the women, this sort of fat pride thing, like women that are so proud of being fat, okay, all that stupid shit. Now those women are basically never gonna be fit and athletic and slim in their entire life because they have this, such this identity about being fat. So you don't want to develop an identity as being the gentleman, okay? Being the, like the nice little gentleman thing and like the nice guy, that's basically being proud of being a freaking fat, obese person and like advertising to everyone that you're fat and being proud of it. That's basically the same stupid shit, okay? Now I'm not gonna be politically correct here because I don't give a fuck, you paid for that program. But you want the truth, here it is. Stop fucking shaming sexual behavior done so thank you for watching i hope you liked that video this is only one video like four minute segment of the entire course that's over two hours of condensed theory videos plus over three hours of infield content 
click on the link right here. I'll send you a free training uh, on how to kiss a girl in 60 seconds or less. And then on top of that, I'll also send you a secret link to access the Dance for Game Accelerator program because I only want the most serious guys to come in there. Click on the link right here. So I'll see you next time. Peace.